Miguel Ángel Félix Gallardo born January 8, 1946, commonly referred to by his aliases El Jefe de Jefes the Boss of Bosses and El Padrino the Godfather, is a convicted Mexican drug lord. He was one of the founders of the Guadalajara cartel in the 1970s. Throughout the 1980s, the cartel controlled much of the drug trafficking in Mexico and the corridors along the Mexico-United States border. Gallardo was finally arrested in 1989 for the murder of Drug Enforcement Administration agent Enrique Kiki Camarena. Felix Gallardo was serving his 40-year sentence at the Altiplano Maximum Security Prison but was transferred to a medium security facility in 2014 due to his declining health. Born on a ranch in Bella Vista, on the outskirts of Culiacan, Sinaloa, Felix Gallardo graduated from high school and studied business in college. He took a job as a Mexican federal judicial police agent. He worked as a family bodyguard for the governor of Sinaloa State Leopoldo Sanchez Celis, whose political connections helped Felix Gallardo to build his drug trafficking organization. Felix Gallardo was also the godfather of Celis' son Rodolfo. Felix Gallardo started working for drug traffickers brokering corruption of state officials, and together with Rafael Caro Quintero and Ernesto Fonseca Carrillo, who previously worked in the Aviles criminal organization, took control of the trafficking routes after Aviles was killed in a police shootout. In the early 1980s, drug interdiction efforts increased throughout Florida, which was then the major shipping destination for illegal drug traffickers. As a result, the Colombian cartels began to utilize Mexico as their primary transshipment point. Juan Mata Ballesteros was the Guadalajara cartel's primary connection to the Colombian cartels, as he had originally introduced Felix Gallardo's predecessor, Alberto Cecilia Falcon, to Santiago Ocampo of the Cali cartel, one of the largest Colombian drug cartels. Rather than taking cash payments for their services, the smugglers in the Guadalajara cartel took a 50% cut of the cocaine they transported from Colombia. This proved to be extremely profitable for them, with some estimating that the trafficking network, then operated by Felix Gallardo, Ernesto Carrillo, and Rafael Quintero, was pulling in approximately $5 billion annually. Until the end of the 1980s, the Guadalajara cartel headed by Miguel Ángel Felix Gallardo had nearly monopolized the illegal drug trade in Mexico. In 1980 DEA Special Agent Enrique Kiki Camarena was assigned to the administration's resident agency in Guadalajara. Working through informants, Camarena discovered cartel marijuana plantations in Zacatecas State. The plantations were raided and destroyed. In 1984, Mexican soldiers, backed by helicopters, destroyed an even larger 1,000-hectare marijuana plantation known as Rancho Buffalo in Chihuahua, Mexico, known to be protected by Mexican DFS intelligence agents, as part of Operation Godfather. Thousands of farmers worked the fields at Rancho Buffalo, and the annual production was later valued at 8 billion U.S. dollars. All of this took place with the knowledge of local police, politicians, and the military. Camarena was beginning to expose the connections among drug traffickers, Mexican law enforcement, and high-ranking government officials within the Partido Revolucionario Institucional, which Felix Gallardo considered to be a major threat to the Guadalajara cartel's operations throughout Mexico. In response, Felix Gallardo reportedly ordered the kidnapping of Camarena. On February 7, 1985, Jalisco police officers on the cartel's payroll kidnapped Camarena as he left the U.S. consulate in Guadalajara. His helicopter pilot, Alfredo Zavala Avalar, was kidnapped shortly afterward. They were brought to a residence located at 881 Lope de Vega in the colonia of Jardines del Bosque, in the western section of the city of Guadalajara, owned by Rafael Caro Quintero, where they were tortured and interrogated over a period of 30 hours. On February 9, Camarena was killed when a hole was made in his head with a power drill. They drilled a hole into his brain to cause debilitating pain before his death. He was also shot up with adrenaline and other drugs to be kept awake during his torture and interrogation. His body, wrapped in plastic, was found with Zavala Avalars in a shallow hole on a ranch in Michoacan State. Camarena's murder prompted one of the largest DEA homicide investigations ever undertaken, Operation Leyenda. A special unit was dispatched to coordinate the investigation in Mexico, where corrupt officials were being implicated. Investigators identified Felix Gallardo and his two close associates, Ernesto Fonseca Carrillo and Rafael Caro Quintero, as the primary suspects in the kidnapping. Under pressure from the U.S., Fonseca and Quintero were apprehended, but Felix Gallardo still enjoyed political protection. Felix Gallardo kept a low profile and, in 1987, moved with his family to Guadalajara. He was arrested in Mexico on April 8, 1989, 
and was charged by the authorities in Mexico and the United States with the kidnapping and murder of DEA agent Enrique Camarena, as well as racketeering, drug smuggling, and multiple violent crimes. According to U.S. officials, Felix Gallardo also spent time at the Sinaloa governor's house as a guest, which Governor Antonio Toledo Coro has denied. When asked about his association with Felix Gallardo, Governor Toledo said he was unaware of any outstanding arrest warrants against Felix Gallardo. The arrest of Felix Gallardo was the catalyst for exposing the widespread corruption at political and law enforcement levels in Mexico. Within days of Felix Gallardo's arrest, and under pressure from the media, several police commanders were arrested with as many as 90 officers deserting. Felix Gallardo's arrest also led to the dismantling of the Guadalajara cartel, as key members of the federation chose to withdraw and form their own cartels, relying on violence to claim various territories and trafficking routes. The continuous disputes and conflict among the leaders would breed political, social, and military chaos, and eventually lead to the Mexican drug war. While incarcerated, Felix Gallardo remained one of Mexico's major traffickers, maintaining his organization via mobile phone until in 1993 he was transferred to the Altiplano Maximum Security Prison, where he served part of his 37-year sentence. As he aged, Felix Gallardo complained that he lived in poor conditions while in jail. He says that he suffers from vertigo, deafness, loss of an eye, and blood circulation problems. He lives in a 240 times 440 centimeter cell, which he is not allowed to leave, even to use the recreational area. In March 2013, Felix Gallardo started a legal process to continue his prison sentence at home when he reached his 70th birthday. On April 29, 2014, a Mexican federal court denied Felix Gallardo's petition to be transferred from the maximum security prison to a medium security one. On December 18, 2014, federal authorities approved his request to transfer to a medium security prison in Guadalajara, due to his declining health. On February 20, 2019, a court in Mexico City denied his request to complete the remainder of his sentence at his home. The court stated that Felix Gallardo's defense did not provide them with sufficient evidence to prove that his health issues were putting his life at risk. After his arrest, Felix Gallardo decided to divide up the trade he controlled as it would be more efficient and less likely to be brought down by law enforcement. Felix Gallardo instructed his lawyer to convene the nation's top drug narcos in 1989 at a house in the resort of Acapulco where he designated the plazas or territories. The Tijuana route would go to his nephews, the Arellano Felix brothers. The Ciudad Juarez route would go to the Carrillo Fuentes family. Miguel Caro Quintero would run the Sonora Corridor. Joaquin Guzman Loera and Hector Luis Palma Salazar were left the Pacific Coast operations, with Ishmael Sambada Garcia joining them soon after and thus becoming the Sinaloa cartel, which was not a party to the 1989 pact. Felix Gallardo still planned to oversee national operations, but when he was transferred to a high-security prison in 1993, he lost any remaining control over the other drug lords. Upon his arrest at least nine of Miguel Angel Felix Gallardo's nieces and nephews took over different roles within the organization to form the Arellano Felix Organization, also known as the Tijuana Cartel. Another niece, Sandra Avila Beltran, is a former member of the Sinaloa Cartel.